France fishing industry divided over UK trawler sanctions. Government penalties on British trawlers are dividing France's seafood industry. Processing businesses say the sanctions would cost jobs, while fishermen say tougher measures are required after waiting 10 months for licenses from the UK. If London does not issue additional fishing licenses in UK seas, Paris has threatened to prevent British trawlers from offloading, increase boat license inspections, tighten truck checks, and strengthen customs and sanitary procedures. Defensive measures, he added, might end up harming the industry more than helping it. Liz Truss, the British Foreign Minister, warned France on Monday that if it did not back down within 48 hours, the United Kingdom will initiate formal dispute negotiations with it. President Emmanuel Macron claimed France has made tangible de-escalation recommendations to Britain. In the words of Cherzen, the penalties will, at the very least, contribute to delays. When it comes to fresh fish, even a few minutes delay might be devastating. His position was that Britain should honour its obligations as part of the Brexit agreement. Regional Fishes Organisation President Olivier Lepreta stated, however, that his members had sought 80 fishing licences in UK seas, but only 35 had been given so far. Some people have witnessed a 50% drop in their income, he added. According to Lepreta, the firms in question will be in a severe mess very soon. We need immediate assistance in finding a solution. It really is an issue. Because they can only operate in French seas, the fisheries there are now at danger of being overfished. Fishers, according to him, truly don't care about politics. There's nothing else on their minds. However, they're at their wits end since we've been waiting for 10 months already. Some will go bankrupt if nothing changes. We need tangible changes after all this time, one Boulogne fisher told French television. My yacht cost me 3 million euros to build, and I need it to function correctly. We've heard enough blah blah, and now we're ready for action.